Hello, LinkedIn. Back again for another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, technical sales specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're going to continue our conversation about Rosemount's 5408 non-contacting radar level transmitter. As previously mentioned, this is a level transmitter which utilizes what's known as frequency modulated continuous wave technology, or FMCW for short, to deliver a reliable measurement. Let's take a look at how it's able to achieve this. Now, in order to do so, we actually need to take a step back and look at the previous generation of radars. These are known as pulsed radars and operate using a time of flight measurement. The idea being these transmitters generate a microwave pulse. Now, this pulse travels through the vessel, reflects off the product surface, back up to the transmitter's antenna. Of course, the strength of this reflection is based off of the dielectric constant of the product. The greater this constant, the greater the strength of the signal return. Since these transmitters operate at a fixed frequency with a known speed, all we had to do was time how long it took the pulse to travel there, and back again, multiply by the speed that it's going at, and you're left with the total distance the pulse travels. Then it's gotta go there and come back, you divide by two, and this is how far the product is from the level transmitter. Most people care about what the level is in their vessel, so you simply reference the vessel height, and you're left with the level in the vessel, okay? This is something we have done for a very long time, but we've been since able to upgrade it to an FMCW technology. So what is FMCW technology? Is it a new technology? No, actually it's something we have been using since the 70s on our inventory tank gauging systems, long before my time. What is new is it's the first time we've been able to get it into a two wire device, which is utilized on process level measurements, not inventory tank gauging. Okay, so what's the difference? Well, instead of pulse weight receive, pulse weight receive, we continuously transmit and continuously receive. How do you do that? By changing the frequency. Hence, frequency modulated continuous wave. It's a continuous wave, we modulate the frequency. And by continuously emitting a wave, you can understand how this improves the resolution of the measurement and ultimately its reliability. So the difference is now is by continuously transmitting and continuously receiving, we can subtract those signals directly from each other and we're left with the phase shift difference. This phase shift difference is directly proportional to how far the product is away from the transmitter. So all we have to do from here, similar to the pulse radar, is subtract it from the total vessel height and you're left with the level in your tank. Okay, so hopefully from this video, you have a better understanding of the differences between a pulse radar and FMCW radar and how it can improve your process level measurements. If you have any questions about Rosemount's 5408 non-contacting radar or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.